In this video, I'm bonding new concrete to old concrete, and in this case, it's going to be using an acrylic fortifier. Now, following the instructions on this package, you would use about 1,500 milliliters of this product, 1.5 liters, for a 60-pound bag of the same manufacturer's sand topping mix. And so that's, I've scaled that down to 1 100th, but that's what we've got here. And the way that this product works is that you paint it onto the old concrete. It says that you can do it wet or dry, but I work with a lot of concrete and I know that it's very important for most applications for it to be wet, unless you're dealing with something like an epoxy and usually that is something where it would have to be dry or even explicitly dry. But for this application, I'm gonna do something which is called SSD, saturated surface dry. So the concrete is like a sponge and I wanna give it water until it's like, no, I'm full, that no more water but not so much that I've got it pooling on the surface. Pooling on the surface is too much. So I've got this SSD right now, and I've got my mix of the latex acrylic fortifier mixed with the sand topping mix. And that's all it is, is just the latex fortifier and the sand topping mix. And so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that here. And when you apply it, this is kind of important. Don't just kind of be very light and gentle. It's actually kind of important, like mechanically, work it in there. You don't, you don't want to damage anything, you don't want to be scarring up the aggregate on the underside and dragging it into your finish, but at the same time, you don't want to be too light about it. It really needs to get worked in there. And then once I've got this on here, because I'm doing a series of different videos on ways that you can bond new concrete to old concrete, this is one of the ways in which you can do it. And what would you use this application for? Well, this is actually an important video. If you're watching all these, and there's probably gonna be a bunch of them, this product in particular, or any manufacturer's version of it, it's the thin stuff, latex. It's like, it, when, you, when you put it in concrete, it modifies its properties tremendously in terms of its ability to resist water or its ability to resist, it, there's like chemicals, there's a lot of different things about it that it really enhances. The world of concrete is an intensely deep technical subject. And this is one of the products that you're gonna go to most often. You have to be careful because there's a lot of things you shouldn't do with it. Like if you're using air and trainer, which helps to concrete to resist freeze and thaw, it's kind of like a soap, it puts tiny bubbles tiny bubbles into the concrete. You shouldn't use an acrylic fortifier in a mix that you also have air and trainer. And so there's a bunch of stuff that you have to know. You can't just start throwing it around. You know, it's, people tend to really underappreciate how deep and technical the world of concrete is because when everything goes right, it's, it's actually pretty easy. You just kind of, oh, I just hosed it down, put some concrete on there. Okay, great, what was so hard about that? Well, if you did it in the wrong order, if you did it too much or you didn't do it properly, that concrete failed in five or seven years instead of 30 or 50 years like maybe it could have. Um, so I've got that on there and this is an important point here. I've got in this bucket, this is just three parts sand, one part Portland cement. And so it's just like a regular mortar mix, uh, not modified in any way. And so now I'm gonna add that over top of that latex mix and I want to do it before that latex mix dries or skins over. I have a YouTube video that I put out that has a million views and, or close to it. And that was one of the big things. That was one of the major things that I don't think that I made clear in that video. And as a result, a lot of people, a lot of people have that, that question. I kind of feel bad that I didn't cover it more clearly because it could have saved a lot of people a lot of time but you, when you apply a bonding slurry, unless it says expressly on the product, that's, no, that's not how it works. This one here, you put under, for the, the rest of them, if, if it doesn't say apply this dry, when you put the bonding slurry on, the new concrete has to go on before that dries. You don't want that to dry or skin over. So that's the idea here, is that I've got a three to one topping mix on this, and this is a latex, a modified latex acrylic bonding slurry that I bonded or I used with Portland cement and we're, oops, we're gonna see how well that bonds to this old concrete and be sure to tune in subscribe because we're gonna have a series of videos where I use different products and then we'll see how they compare in terms of how well they bonded the new concrete to the old concrete if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel 
and you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.